So, I was reading a book about gravity. I couldn't put it down. And then I thought, I should find out what the smartest flat earthers think about gravity. So, I went to Nathan Roberts. All right, so we're told that we have gravity that keeps everything on the ground, right? Everything, including the water, everything to the spinning ball. And to feel as though there is no motion, though there is motion, but we don't feel it because of gravity, right? No, Nathan, wrong. You only feel movement when you're accelerating or decelerating. When you travel at a constant speed, you feel no motion. Gravity has nothing to do with feeling motion. Uh, unless, of course, you're falling. Maybe you should try it sometime. Gravity is supposed to be strong enough to hold the piano down, but not the keys on the piano. At least that's what someone said, and I thought that it was a great illustration. It wasn't me. I wish I had come up with it. In any case, I've got this pile right here, brush pile, that I put together. It's pretty big. So here's my propane tank and my torch. I got my little clicker here. Right, to get the fire started. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. I was just daydreaming. Back to the video. As I can tell, the smoke is rising, the flame is also going up, gravity is still debunked. Gravity is a lie. It is called buoyancy and density, so we've got the smoke which is less dense than the medium that it's within, that being the air, the atmosphere, so to speak. Wrong, Nathan. Smoke is more dense than air. It's not a gas, but mostly carbon particles. It's rising because it's caught in the updraft of hot air. It will settle later. A good clue that it's denser than air is that you can see it. And then we've got the flames, which is heat. Heat rises. Gravity can't keep heat down? Why is that? Because gravity's a hoax. You're actually right, but probably not for the reasons you think. Heat is not a thing, but heated air is. And heated air is less dense than the cooler air around it. That makes it more buoyant. And in the case of hot air, the buoyancy is enough to overcome gravity, so it rises. Now. That's density and buoyancy for you. But don't worry, Nathan. When the air cools, that evil gravity will drag it back down. Allegedly on a spinning ball, we have to have this thing called gravity. Big problem with gravity though, as it concerns our reality, is that gravity is allegedly strong enough to hold down a piano, but not the keys on the piano. It is strong enough to hold all the water to the, to the ball, but it does not hold uh, down a butterfly or a gnat from flying or a bird from flying straight in front of your line of sight view. But yet it's supposed to be strong enough to hold all, everything else down. So it's got this temperamental um, magic feel for what should be held down and what should not. Gravity holds down the oceans but gravity can't hold down a butterfly. That's just pathetic. You know what I reckon? If a drop of water grew butterfly wings, it could fly too. 
So it's 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 sad to see that people still believe that they're living on a spinning ball with no scientific evidence and without scriptural backing, especially Christians. Wow, isn't that pretty? The, the butterflies that gravity can't hold down. One of God's little creations. Well, there's that gravity.